We are well in the spooky season, probably towards the end of spooky season mm -hmm. since Halloween has passed, but we are continuing on with our spooky themed anime and manga. Mm -hmm. We're continuing on with more Junji Ito. Uh, we just watched Paprika. Go check out our review not of Paprika. Not Junji Ito. <laughs> yeah, not, not Junji Ito, but because we're in the, the theme of scary dreams, mm -hmm. And Molly's trying to confront her sleep paralysis demon, so yeah. we're just going full bore, and it's called immersion therapy. Um, so we're gonna read Junji Ito's The Long Dream. Mm -hmm. Heard it was very scary. Because I have sleep paralysis, I don't know how I'm gonna do with this. Yeah. It is a short story from his book Shiver. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's jump into it. Ah, uh, I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die, but I'm gonna die soon. I'm gonna die soon, be nothing. I won't exist anymore. I have those fears oh, I, before I fall asleep. That's kind of, do you ever think about your existence? Only during the waking hours. <laughs> Only when I'm at work. Ah, I'm scared, I'm so scared. Ah. It kind of looks like they're in a hospital It looks though, like a hospital, yeah. So that's not a With good sign. With a creepy sign. shadow walking down the hall. Oh no. I am so scared. I'm starting to get a little scared. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Oh my god, that looks like the Joker from Dark Knight. <laughs> <laughs> As the nurse. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, who? Who's there? Who is it? Who's going to be walking into your room at this late at night? Right, dressed Absolutely as a Joker, not, dressed yeah. as a nurse. Ah. The long dream. Dr. Kurada, I don't want to die. Please help me. I don't want to become nothing. Mommy, we're. S <laughs> that was mommy. mommy. Good, mommy's mommy's suffering mommy's, from. Mommy's in a psychotic ward in a yeah, mental hospital because of uh, Kazuya. Because of Kazuya, mommy, we're fighting this illness of yours with everything we have. So you have to have hope and keep fighting. I can't. I'm going to die. I mean, the god of death showed up last night. No, that wasn't. He's not the god of death. He's a patient hospitalized in another ward. Oh my god! Wait, her illness. Like what? I mean, like, so just believing she's gonna die, sleep well. can't sleep. Was yes. that insomnia? Insomnia? Oh, maybe. Mm -hmm. But like insomnia, just because your fear of your. Like, I mean, if you go death. a while without sleeping, it can kill you. Yeah. Ugh, I don't know. Okay. That's a lie. As if someone like that could exist in this world. That wasn't a human face. That was the face of someone who lives beyond the black darkness. It was terrifying. Okay. Oh no, she's just like, it's some poor guy who's just like also in the hospital. She's like, that face who's is just not like human. Ugly, maybe. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Someone who lives beyond the darkness. She's a sensitive girl. The fact that she apprehends her own illness and her fear of death is twice that of a normal person is the work of that sensitivity, no doubt. But he's begun prowling around the hospital at night, which is a problem. Most likely, he's afraid to sleep. How was the patient after that, Dr. Kurita? Hmm, it's about time for him to be waking up. Let's go take a look. Yeah, let's go take a look no, at this guy. Also, I, I don't, Payson shouldn't be able to just walk around, especially prowling, go into other people's yeah. rooms. Especially like, a young girl alone. Lock the door. Incidentally, Dr. Kurita, I still don't really know much about this patient. If you don't mind, could you share some details with me? I'm very curious. His name is Tetsuro Mukuro. He came to this hospital about two months ago. He said he was troubled by long dreams. Long dreams? Ooh. How can you be troubled by long dreams? Like, if I had a nice, mm -hmm. like, long dream, that well, means yeah. I've gotten good sleep. I've gotten good sleep. Yeah. Oh, long dreams. <laughs> yeah, great. How long do they feel exactly? In the beginning, this was about a month ago. One night's dream could feel like two or three days. Oh, oh that's nice. Okay. Think of how well rested you'd be. Yeah, but like if they actually felt like you were sleeping for two to, like if you were in a dream for two to three days. Yeah, it's like a like, mob where he was unconscious in that dream world for six months. Right, yeah, yeah. no, see yeah. that's that's not okay. Unless it was a good dream. I see. That's true. So you mean it felt long once you woke up? No, it felt long in the dream, very clearly. At first I thought it was all in my head, but the dreams gradually got longer with each passing day. And that would be fine if they were good dreams and all, but mining are nightmares. Ugh, yeah. Okay, Absolutely yeah, that's not. not great. They get more and more unpleasant and ugly. I I don't really have nightmares, but I have very stressful dreams. Yeah, it's like, oh God, I went to work with no pants on. No, or... no, no. It's like, oh God, I just missed five days of my classes. Oh my I have God. finals <laughs> coming up and I don't even know what we're covering. That's like my stressful dream. Also, is this the culprit with the face beyond darkness? Because he has a nice jawline. Right, that's, <laughs> that's model material right there. Hmm, and so about how long are they now? 
The dream last night was basically a <gasps> year long. Yeah. Okay, that's not great, especially if it's a nightmare. I guess it's bad if it's a nightmare, but then you could basically feel like you're living two lives. Right. Like, you know. And if you know that it's a nightmare, maybe you can try like lucid Controlling dreaming. It? Yeah. yeah, or like fly. Yeah. Could you try different things? I don't know. I just barely managed not to burst out laughing. Oh. I see. A year. Doctor, it's true. As it is now, my memories of the day before are hazy, and it's starting to interfere oh, with my life. Oh, right, because like it would because feel like, I don't me, remember a yeah. year ago. Because to me, yesterday was last year. Yeah. Oh, oh that's, that's, hard. that's freaky, yeah. I thought he was lying, or that if he wasn't, he was convinced he was having these long dreams due to some kind of psychological issue. The idea that a year's worth of time could exist in a single night's dream was ridiculous. Classic doctors, just being like, nah, nah you're they, lying. Nah, they're crazy. You're lying. At any rate, I decided to have him admitted so we could take a look at how he slept. Hmm. Laying down like everybody else. <laughs> so that night, ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that twitching. I don't like that shaking. Ooh. Oh. Tremors over his entire body and violent eye movement. But it didn't end in just that moment. His brainwaves at that time indicated the very strongest stage of sleep. Ew. I immediately woke him. Yeah, wake him up, right? I guess so. If you can. Okay, so yeah. then, like, if I was this guy, I'd be like, can you just wake me up every hour? Yeah. Right? Or like, every five minutes. It's like when you set, like, ten alarms in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Mukuda, Mukuda, wake up. Were you dreaming just now? Where am I? You're in the hospital. You were admitted yesterday. Admitted? Oh, he's not doing great. Right. I remember I was admitted to the hospital. Yes, I was dreaming. It was a terrifying dream. And a year and a half or so passed. Oh my god, and what, those like 10 minutes yeah, that he fell oh asleep? God. At that time, something cold ran up my spine. I instinctively felt he wasn't lying. He probably really was having long dreams. I observed him multiple times after that, and I came to a single conclusion. There's a moment while he is deeply asleep where his entire body convulses. Wait, I have that when I fall asleep, I do a oh. twitch? <laughs> <laughs> You're like so twitchy, yeah. He apparently has the dreams in that instant. That moment feels to him like however many months of time. In other words, he hallucinates a long dream. Oh God, in that moment. I don't think that would be very good. No, no, that sounds... Trapped for a year and a half in a nightmare. In a twitch, yeah, ugh. But I don't know the reason why he's having them. Doctor, when will you cure me of this illness? Yeah, when will you cure yes, me of this? Can you just this? fix me? That's Please. her job. Mm, I'm researching methods of treatment, but for the moment, I need you to be patient. He is patient. Get it, because it's a hospital? Yeah. Doctor, the dreams last night was 10 years long. Why? My dreams are gradually getting longer. That's not gradual, bro. 10, Ten years. You would wake up and you'd feel exhausted. You're, Bing. you've eight, you've, you've grown. You can grow inside your nightmares. Think of how resilient you are to real world traumas at this point. Yeah, I guess that's like when um, someone gets izakai'd and yeah. they come back, yeah. kind of. Well, mm -hmm. but time does pass in the real it's world. It's like uh, so. when Dr. Stone did his time loop thing with Dormammu. He was there who knows how many thousands of years. He comes back a changed man, even though it's a nightmare. Listen to me, Mukura. It's an illusion that you feel dreams are long. It really is just an instant. It's all an illusion, so there's no need for you to be afraid of the length of dreams. Oh, bro, that's yeah. easy for you to say. Right. You can say that because you haven't seen my dreams, Doctor. You have no idea how real they are, how confusing, how lonely, and how terrifying. That looks like, um, uh, uh, Blam. Blam. <laughs> <laughs> he just wakes up in Blam. Shout out to all our Blam fans out there. Incidentally, last night, I dreamed I was a soldier fleeing from enemy eyes and hiding in the jungle. Those 10 years were so long. The day before yesterday, I was in extreme... I was in exam hell. Nine years of all-nighters and mock exams. Liter that's, that's, that's me. That's you. That's me. Then there was the pain of the dream where I was looking for a restroom for eight years. Okay, that's more of my that, nightmares. Yeah. yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> and I'm telling you, those are all illusions. We're working hard to find the cause. Can you just hold on a little longer? Oh yeah, God. another hundred years. Easy. I'd be like, why me? Like, yeah. why? Out of, this isn't happening to anyone Because it me. clearly can can affect your work and everything. Oh, like, yeah, you wake up and you're like, I like, don't now remember the real 10 nightmare. years ago. <laughs> yeah. I understand, but please do something soon. Otherwise, my dreams might get as long as one or 200 years. If that happens, I don't know what I'll like, do. Like, will he die of old age in, in his dream? Does he grow older in his dreams? Oh, I don't know. As expected, his dreams grew longer at an accelerated pace. Even we could see it just looking at him. For instance, 
About 20 days after he was admitted, he started having very serious trouble remembering the events yeah. of the previous day. Oh, God. It was almost like there was a gulf of 50 years between his yesterday <sighs> and today. Yeah. Oh, my God. I mean, you're not picking up any, like, new skills in news dreams, like combat fighting. Can you imagine just jungle. trying to live, like, day to day, mm -hmm. but you don't remember like, what happened remembering yesterday? Remembering my to-do list for today from yesterday with a normal night's sleep was hard you enough. You wouldn't be able to... Like, oh, that'd be so freaky. Like, you meet somebody and you, like, make a friend and then 50 years go by and then you see the friend again and you're like, Who are you? oh, God, oh, that's crazy. And around the time a month had passed, each time he woke up, he spoke with a different intonation than the day before. Oh, wow, so he's, like, different languages or... No, he's just, like, a different person yeah. because of all that time that's passed. Like, think of you 50 oh, years yeah. from now, you're going to be, you're oh, going to be a completely different person. Absolutely not. Like the difference between someone from a hundred years ago and a person today, oh my god, yeah. his brain, it appeared that exactly that much time had passed. Well, so his brain ages. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was as though his thoughts were lost in a different space-time from the universe we live in. Oh my god, this is like an SAO, where it's like your brain can only last for like 200 years and then it has oh, to like, you yeah. have to clear out all the memory again. Yeah. And not just that recently. His face, even his appearance has changed. As though he's evolving beyond humanity. What? Ew, what? His appearance? Mukuda, are you awake? No. Whoa! What? Okay. <laughs> His brain is so big! Right. Am I? Where are you? Oh my god. I'm your primary physician, Kurada. Try to remember. He's like, bro, you were from three three thousand years yeah, ago. I like Wow. I would just be like, dude, let me start all over again. You gotta put an end to this. I don't know, man. Like I I can see you, the you, upsides. No, what upsides? You evolve beyond humanity because you live for tens of thousands of years. Yeah, but like, it'd be like your life is the dream, and right. then every once in a while you check back into like Which the is real not world. Which is you know? Unless you're living in nightmares for your real life. Okay, some of these are. nightmares are like. Not like, less. which we are living in yeah, a nightmare. Yeah, fair. No! <laughs> Lately, he often does these kind of cryptic things when he wakes up. Perhaps he thinks he's still in a dream. Where's mommy? My wife, mommy's not here. What? But we've never been apart these several thousand years ew, since we got married. Ew, 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 ew. Uh, so he had a dream about the girl? Or was it I guess that? so. That he creeped on. And now after spending all that time with her, he thinks that he's married her? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, God, that's a little creepy. Ew. Right, this is the hospital where we first met several thousand years ago. We met in a hospital room, and our love blossomed. Ew. Bro, it did not. You just creeped on her in the room for one night. Ah, you're the man who tried to tear us apart that time, aren't you? Because, like, you would think that your reality is whatever you right. dream. So if all these people are in your dreams, right. you're going to be a little suspicious Ugh. of them, yeah. Where did you hide mommy? Mommy, where are you? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, because I guess his body would still function. He doesn't have, like, um, what is that, when you're atrophied? Like, when your muscles are yeah, cramped Yeah, because it's only a day. It's only a day. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's going to mommy's room. We have to stop him. It's because he saw her room last night. Yeah. He had a dream about her, and they were married in it. And their married life lasted yeah. several thousand years. No, he he can no longer tell the difference between dream and reality. Mommy! Mommy! That poor girl! Oh my gosh, she came in here to the hospital for one thing, and yeah. he has this creep. This creep, yeah. Mommy, lunch. You have to eat. I don't want to. <laughs> ah, I can't believe I'm going to die. Mommy! Mommy! Ew! Mommy. And someone like that bursts into your room? Absolutely not. Look at that. No! He's still got that jawline though. <laughs> Mommy! Mr. Mukara! Ah! You've come again! God of death! Mommy, what's the matter? <laughs> come on, you, you're going back to your room. God of death? She said God of death? Like, bro, look in the mirror. I know. I see. So it was a dream. All those delightful years I oh, spent with mommy were a dream. Oh, that's kind of It's like, bro, after all of these years, you finally have a nice dream. Like, you wake up now from this dream, mm -hmm. and you're like... Where's Molly? Currently, not only is she not my wife, mommy calls me the God of death. Dr. Kurita, I'm scared the dreams just keep getting longer. I worry that soon they'll never end. What if, what will happen to me when I have an eternal dream? The morning after I have a dream that never ends, what will I have become? Oh, God. Ooh, I don't know. Maybe just to get some lotion for that crusty <laughs> face. 
Ah, I'm scared. No. Oh, I don't want to die. Mommy. I don't want to die. Mommy's like, dealing with her own Bro, thing. you've got like some problems, but this guy's dealing with a much more Yeah. Things. Put it into perspective, Mommy. Mm -hmm. Her illness is definitely not good. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> but more serious is her fear of death. I've never seen a patient display such terror before. Also, it's not helping that this guy just like, runs into her room yeah. looking like that. Incidentally, what about Tetsuro Mokuda? Hmm. I can't even imagine how far into the future he's gone now. I, I, but it is nice that he's... <laughs> Sorry, I just flipped to the next page. I was gonna say, it's nice that he's accepted, like, oh, that was a dream. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, like, so he seems like he's understanding. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, take a look. Oh my god, bro. He's becoming a worm? Yeah. Oh my god. Like half light bulb, half worm. Oh my god. And this is over the course of a night. One night, I recorded the maximum level of tremors and eye movement in Tetsuro Mokuda. I instinctively felt that this was the moment he had the eternal dream. That night, I didn't sleep a wink as I waited for dawn. If he'd had an eternal dream, what on earth would he be like when he woke the next morning? Would he even wake up? What, like, he'd be speaking a different language, he'd oh be being gibberish, yeah. or just like, oh my Inventing god. Inventing his new language? Like, yeah. bro, like, you could be, like, yeah, the world's greatest author. Just but, write but, down your dreams. Yeah, but like, oh god, yeah. And to begin with, what does it mean to have an eternal dream? His dreams took place in an instant. Did that mean an eternity of time existed in that moment? Or perhaps it was indeed nothing more than his delusion. But his yeah, figure was utterly 100 transformed. Yeah, it's 100% not a delusion because yeah. look at him. Yeah, that's, 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 that's <sighs> affecting his actual physical self. Dawn comes. Hmm? Oh, God. <gasps> what? Okay, I didn't expect that. Ew, he just he disintegrates. Just crumbles? Oh, my God. That's what happens when you wake up from an eternal dream. Okay. To be fair, that's kind of what I feel like when I wake up from a really good nap. I just feel <laughs> like I disintegrate. Yeah, you're confused about where you are. Yeah. At least just like he's out of his misery, I guess, I guess if he so. dies. Yeah. Like I would I would be like, you need to kill me. God, after I a month in the hospital. I wouldn't be able to handle that. Absolutely not. Oh. Jesus, he just turns to dust. And wow. the window's open and he blows away. Absolutely not. Somebody's going to catch that in their mouth. He left behind a withered shell, and oh perhaps his conscience set out on a journey toward the eternal dream. Inside the remains of the brain of the man who crumbled to dust, I discovered crystals of unknown material. Oh my what? God. I stared at this material, thinking it might have some connection with his unique dream, but no matter how long I stared into the microscope, I learned nothing. Oh, no, is he going to, like, absorb the crystals? No, I don't want it. Oh, God. Oh God. Mommy's really calmed down lately. I guess the tranquilizers are working, even though they hadn't before. Okay, tranquilizers. Oh, I, I mean, I guess that's good. Mommy, how are you feeling? Dr. Kurita, I feel a little better today. Hmm, you do? By the way, doctor, it's strange lately. My dreams oh have been incredibly God. long. Absolutely Last night I was not. in my dream for about a month and a half. Oh no, he's like, oh God. Like, the, was your window open yesterday? <laughs> Oh my god. Dr. Kurita, have you noticed any changes in Mami Takashima's condition recently? Yes, yeah, she's having long dreams! And they're getting longer at an accelerating rate. So you did notice. There have been changes in her appearance oh, recently no. as well. Just like that man. Oh god, it's contagious. Just burn the hospital down. You ready? You ready to see what she looks like? Oh no. god, it's Shimpachi! <laughs> Doctor, what on earth is going on? Is it something contagious? Yeah, I'm like, I, mean, I would, I'd leave Absolutely and I'd not. never come back. No, actually, I'll just tell you. I administered the crystals found in Tetsuro Mokuda to her. <gasps> what? Bro, what? What did you say? In the end, the only way to examine the effects of the crystals was to test them on a person. You saw what they did. That's... Absolutely So then not. You, you're conducting human testing on Mami Takashima. Calm down, Yamauchi. Like, no. bro, don't calm down. Like, you lose your medical license. <gasps> Do you have some on yourself, bro? Yeah. Like, she feared death more than anything. She feared becoming nothing. But if she could have an eternal dream, then what would happen? No, no don't play with people like this. It means her mind would continue to live forever, even if it's only a momentary delusion. And we can establish a technology that allows humanity to have an eternal dream then we will be forever freed from the fear of death. Oh my god, wait, is this the chairman from Paprika? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? But okay, so, but then again, like, 
if your consciousness lives forever in right. eternal dream, then you never die. Then that's I it. Guess. But I guess yeah. it would have to be like a good dream. Yeah. So I kind of see uh, that. Ridiculous. You would curse the souls of the dying. And the long dream. That is horrifying. Oh, okay, that's actually my God. that's actually pretty scary. Ooh, oh, there's an author commentary. Okay. Do you want to read this one? Okay, I really like that one. You I like really that one? like that story. I think <sighs> I like that better than all the other Junji Ito stories I've read. That was creepy. That was pretty creepy. Yeah. I don't want that to happen. I like that. Okay. Author commentary, The Long Dream. When I was little, my oldest sister once told me this fascinating story she heard from someone. It was the idea that when a person dreams, it's just a moment that no matter how long the dream might be, objectively, the time you're actually dreaming is a mere instant. I found this interesting, the difference between real time and subjective time, the quantitative, question mark, strangeness of space and time. With this seed of a story, I wrote half of a novel when I was in junior high or high school. It was about a unique machine that allowed people to have eternal dreams at the moment of death. Oh. That's, that's cool. That's interesting, yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. If you entered a dream right before dying and the dream never ended, wouldn't you have obtained eternal life? That was the idea. I couldn't let it go to waste, so I took a chance to reuse it in a horror manga, yeah. That's good. Because <laughs> there you go. It, could, it sounds like a nice thing, right? but right. not when used as a horror mm -hmm. story. And then I waited for an opportunity when I had plenty of time and I drew it. Incidentally, as to the issue of whether or not we have our dreams in an instant, the me of now is of the opinion that we probably don't. And as for whether or not the way we speak changes over hundreds of years, I have very little confidence in that. Ugh, yeah. okay. Um, no, I really like that. I'm giving that one a spooky out of 10 because yeah. that was a really good, really spooky. good spooky story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Oh. It looks like we're going to have some nightmares tonight. <laughs> How long are those nightmares going to last? Uh, if you're looking for more freaky action, dream action, go watch Paprika. Mm -hmm. And if you are a sleep paralysis demon, smash like on this video. Until next time, goodbye.